For years now, many people have been trying to bring a racetrack back to the west side of Oahu, and another effort is making its way through the state legislature. A resolution passed another hurdle, but will a racetrack become a reality anytime soon? Senator Glenn Mackay joins us in studio to talk about this. Good morning, Senator. Welcome. Oh, thank you for having me. Now, talk about the resolution that passed another hurdle on Friday. What happened last week? That resolution asked the Department of Business, Economic Development, and Tourism to identify a parcel of land that's uh, flat, spacious, and available for racing. Okay, and you chair that committee that passed it. Yes. What is the need for a racetrack? People might be asking, why do we need a racetrack on this island? I know it's been a long time since we had one. It's been 12 years since we last had legal racing here in on this island. And Oahu is the only county in the state of Hawaii that doesn't have a racetrack. And I look at a racetrack kind of as a public recreational facility. We have baseball fields, we have swimming pools, we have soccer fields. A racetrack should be something that the public has available. So other counties have a racetrack, and I know back in the day when my dad was younger, you know, the, the racetrack and the racing out at Campbell Industrial Park. What's the problem in finding a proper home on Oahu for a racetrack? Well, land is of limited supply here. Um, plus, you need to build the racetrack. That, there's an added cost there. So the availability, availability of land as well as the financial resources to build it, those are the two hugest impediments for building a racetrack. And the money is the big thing. Um, talk about the resolution and what's the difference between a resolution and a bill. A resolution is just conveying the legislature's intent for something. A bill actually has the force of law and most importantly has money attached to it. So the resolution is kind of a statement that we as lawmakers want to see a racetrack but not necessarily don't have the money behind it and a designated site as to where it should be. So for those who support another racetrack on Oahu, uh, what do you want to tell them about how to really make this a reality? What do they need to do? They need to come together. Uh, we have so many disparate voices in this racing community. You did a story just a few minutes ago about Kapuna Care, AARPs running with that issue and asking for $3.5 million. The racing community has to take a page out of the AARP playbook, come together, have all of their past grievances. The reason why we haven't had a racetrack for 12 years is because of this. There's all kinds of fighting going on within that community. Once they coalesce, figure out a, a really strong mission and statement by this group and go in one direction, I think the success would be dramatically better for them. And what's next in the timeline of this resolution? What's the best outcome that we could see um, during this session? The best outcome would be if uh, DBED comes up with a report, identifies a parcel, probably in that Kalailoa area, uh, asks lawmakers in 2019 for some level of money to do a study, and then the following year come back with, here's the plan, here's the cost, let's get going. So even though we might be one step closer, still a ways away from it, becoming a reality on Oahu. Uh, it's a long ways away. I mean, that quarter mile is 10 miles away from us. All right, good point. Thank you so much, Senator, for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me.